Ric Flair. Kevin Kelly, the man literally built the facility that we are in. So many great matches here in what used to be the Charlotte Coliseum is now the Bojangles Coliseum, and he walks back in to a hero's welcome here. You go back in time, you look at the history of Charlotte and of Greensboro and Atlanta and all the great cities. Ric Flair's name is at the top of the list. Oh, what a night this is going to be. By the way, FTR versus House of Black in our main event. I can't wait. Undoubtedly, Ric Flair, one of the greatest performers in the history of this business. And understandably, happy from what I understand, they extended the happy hour at the hotel bar. Would you stop? Stop it! Darby Allen! And Sting! The opening contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of Darby Allen and the icon Sting! According to my notes, Sting's first match here in Charlotte was Christmas night, 1987, against the Warlord. Wow. And here we are walking the aisle. Rick Flair, Darby Allen, tag team action set to go against the Work Horseman. The Work Horseman, no question, have had a lot of success. Not only oh, oh, look at that. this. Anthony Henry just attacked Darby Allen. They've got a huge history. Watch out! Oh, oh, Jamie oh, Drake oh, in a chair oh, before the bell. Wow, how about this? Wait a minute, look at Stacey. has not even started. It's not even gotten in the ring. Top. Sting with a lariat. And you can see that Brett Trinsberg trying to get everybody in the ring. So the got a sound work horseman who came out to a hero's reception themselves before the show started. They try to take the fight to their opponents tonight. Oh! Anthony Henry. Now it's not a bad idea, to be honest with you, to try to jump him quickly. Well, oh, yeah. that, taking out the leg of Sting. Yeah. J.D. Drake just landed and hyperextended the leg of Sting. Again, trying to attack Darby before the... Hey! Wiping him out of the floor. Top of this. Bang! Man, Darby's in trouble. They've been taking most of the punishment out on Darby. Here. And now they roll him in the ring, and here it's... Yeah. Well, now, wait a minute. Is Bryce Ramsburg going to even start this match? He could wave the whole deal off. Well, it's checking what with are Darby you talking now. about? We could have a no contest here, and Bryce Remsburg would be well within his rights, yeah. but... Don't be ridiculous. Well, Darby said, no, I'm ready to go, and the bell sounds, and here we go for our opening match here tonight, live on Collision. Canizio taped to the hilt is Darby as usual, and took a hell of a beating this past Wednesday on Dynamite against Konosuke Takeshita. You know, this could be a trap match for Sting and Darby Allen. Watch this. Watch out, the big man off the top of the flying headbutt. And a cover by Drake. One, two, no sir, two. As on Wednesday night, Sting and Darby Allen will face members of the Don Callis family that is live on Dynamite from our home in Daly's Place in Jacksonville, Florida, and on TBS. Uh, no way. Darby Allen is at 100% after the beating that he took. Oh, that's not going to help. One, two, oh, the backstabber only got a two count. You're talking about the match he had against Takeshita recently. That was a just a brutal, brutal matchup. And Darby's never been 100%. I mean, I'm well, ever since he faced the greatest TNT champion of all time, the Patriot, the father of the year. Christian Cage, Darby has never been the same. Just ring the bell. Ring, ding, every time you mention Christian Cage. You get a little extra, a little extra money. I'm still in the holiday season. Don't Please. you understand? Every time you hear a bell ring for Christian retaining the TNT title, an angel gets his wins. Look at Darby fight back, and now trying to get to the corner. Sting, Flair encouraging him over, and J.D. Drake cut him off. Nicely done. Sting and Darby Allen. Don't you eyeball Ric Flair. 25 and 0, going for their 26th win here tonight. And just muscled him over. There you see FTR and House of Black, as Kevin said earlier, in our main event coming up tonight. And a big story behind that one that we'll talk well, about. Look at this. A little bit if he hits it, it's over. The big man missed. 
The big man missed. And he picks him off so tonight. And oh! Watch out, here he comes. Stinger splash. Lucky for Sting, Henry wasn't in the corner to make the tag, and instead, yeah, here comes the young man. Yeah, lucky for Henry. And he falls on the outside because hey, he's right at the feet of Ric Flair here now. Whoa, 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 look at this. And corporate drop from the top. Old wounds between Darby Allen and Anthony Henry going back to their days of the independence. Yeah, very well documented. And Sting is going for the Scorpion death drop right now. Listen to the fans. Boom. One, two. documented in the history books and another victory for Sting at Darby Allen. What an unprecedented run they've got going, Tony. Sting's last appearance here in Charlotte, North Carolina, no doubt about it, but right up the road to Greensboro on March the 3rd. It'll be a revolution on pay-per-view at the Greensboro Coliseum. Over 13,000 seats have already been sold. There is room for you at AEWTIX.com. The event is exclusively on pay-per-view. Boy, what a night and what a way to start everything tonight here live on TNT. Listen to the fans. Call out the Sting. Signs everywhere. We love you, Sting. Thank you, Sting. It's, again, you know, like Elvis Presley played here in this building in 1959. The icons, the top stars of every industry have played, performed. And we get to see Sting here tonight. We get to see Ric Flair here tonight. And no matter where Sting will be on the road to Greensboro, on the road to Revolution, make sure you fans turn out one last time to say thanks, Stick, for all the years and all the greatness. And fans of ringside getting lifelong moments, memories with Sting and Darby and Ric Flair posing with the fans here. Sting and Darby Allen get the win. And now on Wednesday night, as you saw moments ago, they must face members of the Don Callis family live on Dynamite from Jacksonville. That's coming up Wednesday night on TBS.